Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Aki, Mr. Brother, Hey, Yakane. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweshai, Bahashim, Makak, Pradash, Barakatum, and double honors to the elders and apostles of the great millstone who rule well and that taught me this truth and salutations out there to the hopeful that the brothers are putting this work diligently, sincerely, and truthfully to you all and say Shalom. All right, hopefully, this lesson is encouraging, uplifting, and edifying. All right, to the Aki, to the Aqua squad scattered across the, uh, the four, you know. First and foremost, the elect, and then the rest of the elect, the one third. All right. Uh, this is lesson is just going to be on um, uh, just understanding, man, your fucking value. Understanding that, you know, uh, your worldly life matters in the truth, man. Your worldly life matters in the truth. Okay. Because you can know all the fucking breakdowns. Okay. You you can know you know the deepest breakdowns and the etymology of words. And read the Bible four times and go out and do to the highways and byways three times, put up four videos a week, have 10,000 subscribers, but your worldly life is fucking shit. Your worldly life is struggling to pay bills. You're asking people for money. You can't keep a stable job. You're always at strife with your wife and family. You know what I mean? You're in and out. One week you're on fire. One week you're hot or you're cold. You don't really have no good habits. You work out one week, then you stop. Your diet is kind of bullshit. You're here and there. You're not really checking ingredients. You're eating pork without knowing because you're not checking ingredients. You're, you're still drinking poison. You're still drinking sugar. You're not fasting. You're not doing a dry fast that like the Bible speaks about. You're not doing a liquid fast. What brothers are doing are making fucking excuses. That's what brothers are doing in the truth, man. All right? It's not the time to get fucking weak, man. It's the time to get strong. We are in the fucking end days, brothers. Can you not see that? We're made, we're waiting for one of the biggest prophecies, which is the mark of the beast, which is the R5D chip. This is when Satan is going to come down harder than ever. Speaking about Revelation 12 and 12. He know he had but a short time, so he coming down with great wrath. The majority of the people that we're around, even our baby mothers, they're in the world. They're friends of the world. They're James 4 and 4s. So best believe Satan is turning up on their ass. They're in the world. Satan is turning up on them. Demons are hopping on them more and more. For what? To get to you. To get to you. You can't no longer blame the out... The, 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 you can't really blame the exterior forces. When you know the internal forces control that. For instance, I can't sit here and blame women that want that woman are the reason why I'm angry. I have to take self accountability and realize it's not the woman, it's myself. Why is am I letting this thing get me so angry? Self control. Scripture speaks about slow to wrath, slow to anger. I have anger problems myself. I'm speaking about myself first and foremost. I have anger problems. I became a lot better because I understand what triggers me, what makes me mad, you know? So I became a lot more calmer. I, 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 I think about things. I even get to the point where I don't even talk or I walk away at this point because I know what triggers me and makes me mad. I'm not gonna keep going to the same thing that I know triggers me or that I know makes me mad and then continue blaming that thing on why I keep being the way I am. We got to evolve. I came as men. We have to fucking evolve. You have to be putting yourself through the pain. You have to put, be putting yourself through the suffering. That's the part of fasting. You have to put the flesh away every day. If you don't die daily, if you don't kill the flesh daily, all right, that means it's only getting stronger. Okay? When you kill something, it gets weaker day by the day. You have to keep killing it. If you're not killing the flesh and you're letting it win by the day, all right, then eventually it will overtake you and you will become a carnal person. Okay? It's a battle every day. Everybody knows the biggest battle is first between yourself, the flesh, and the spirit. They're adversaries to one another. The flesh wants to be comfortable. The spirit wants to be at, 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 uh, not at ease. The flesh is weak. The spirit is willing. The Lord gave us the blueprint. We have to follow it. We have brothers in our corners. Okay? We're in camps, we're affiliated with teams. Okay, we have brothers around us that are giving us sound advice. We have examples through the elders. 
okay? Brothers need to make sure their worldly life is on point before they come behind a video or before they come behind YouTube or before they go boot up on the highways and byways, okay? You can't be fucking going out to the highways and byways and telling brothers, yeah, man, we kings. Yeah, man, we're going to be doing this. We rulers. We got Sharala. Get your life back together, all right? You need to do this. You need to file this law. Are you breaking the laws? Scripture says, if a man don't eat, if a man don't work, he don't eat. That's twofold. That's doing the work of the Lord and doing work in the world. You got to work them to fucking live, to make money, to pay bills, to take care of your family. Then why the fuck ain't you doing that? None of the men of the Lord were fucking broke. Yeah, how I wasn't going around asking brothers for fucking money, man. That's not what how I was doing. The men of the Lord were financially stable because they understand it was a powerful tool at the time. Money is nothing but a tool that gives you access to resources. So obtain the tool so you have access to resources. It's as simple as that. No one's telling you to give a fuck about money, to save it up, become a millionaire. But yes, you need to have a certain amount of money so you have a certain amount of things, okay, and experiences and tools to be able to further your life in this world. The truth is about upgrading you, not fucking downgrading you. If you came in this truth and you felt like your life downgraded, well then you didn't come in this truth on the right fucking uh, mindset. You're supposed to come in this truth, okay, and upgrade physically, spiritually, mentally. You're not supposed to be the same man and think the same ways that you was when you was in the fucking world, man. So how are you having the same problems you had when you was in the world? When you was in the world, you was a broke nigga. You're in the truth now. How are you still broke? When you was in the world, you was out of shape. How the fuck you still out of shape? When you was in the world, you was eating fucking fast food. How the fuck you still eating fast food? You know what I mean? What fucking change happened? Did the old you really fucking die? Or do you just put him away and hide him in a closet and bring him out one fucking day? You gotta really fucking kill the old you so that a person that used to know you 10 years ago be like, y'all don't even recognize that person no more. That ain't the person I grew up with. Exactly. It's fucking not. Because that person is fucking dead. He's long gone. Brothers better understand, man, the Lord will not deliver you because of your worldly fucking life. Brothers better fucking understand that, man. Your worldly life. You ain't, you, ain't, you ain't taking care of your kids. You ain't doing your worldly fucking duties first. The Lord don't give a fuck about the work you're doing for him. Your worldly life ain't fucking on point. The Lord don't give a fuck about the work you're doing for him. That's all half ass You ain't even take care of your family. Can't even pay your bills. You ain't even in shape. You can't even rule your own self. You can't even rule your own household. The fuck you gonna rule a nation? How are you in charge of Israel? How are you gonna rule sheep? How are you gonna feed the sheep? You ain't even leaving yourself to the own to your own success that the Lord requires and asks of you. Brothers, better step up, man, because it ain't nothing for you to fucking be replaced and the Lord replace you with another vessel. That ain't shit. The Lord woke you up in His fucking truth for a reason. It's the greatest thing in this earth. So with that, I'd like to give all praise and honor and glory unto Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Bashim, Akakwadash, Babakatum, and double honors to the elders and apostles of the great millstone who rule well and that taught me this truth. To you, I say, Shalom.